This is the start of round three, wireframe versus solids. In round three of wireframe versus solids, we're going to test pocketing. See if there's much difference between pocketing a wire or pocketing a solid model. So we're going to select pocket from the menu. And we're going to be in wireframe and chain. And I'll select the pocket here and confirm my selection. For our tool, I'm going to get a new library tool. In this case here, half inch flat end mill. Under cut parameters, I'm going to say we're going to go to finish here. And stock to leave on the floor, we'll just zero. We're going to use the standard high speed pocket. Under linking parameters, I'm going to control my depth here. And as before, I'm going to go minus 0 0.530, which is 30 thousandths beneath the part. And we'll check our coolant, make sure it's on. And this gives us our first pocketing routine. So we'll do a back plot on this. And we're going to heal coil in. And this is just using the defaults. We would tune this a little bit more potentially. And that will be our wireframe. Now let's take a look at our solid. Instead of chaining in wireframe, we're going to chain in solids. I'm going to have loop selected. In this case here, I'm going to grab the bottom loop here. And I'm going to say, OK, that's the correct face. My arrow direction looks OK. Tool selection will use the same half inch end mill. In this case here, I just noticed I forgot to change the tool number. So I'm going to have it update everything in the last tool as well, so it's in the right pocket. Cutting parameters, zero, zero is good. And we're not going to do anything in finishing at the moment. And we're going to use an associative dimension to the bottom of the solid model. And I'm going to go an extra 30 thousandths. This is just a default I like to have. And we'll make sure our coolant is on. And now we have our pocketing on a solid model. And I'm going to go in an isometric view. Now we have both selected. We'll backplot both operations. And we get a very similar toolpath from one to the other. Let's go back to our top view. So now that we have our pocketing routines, we can take a look at drilling in round number four.